Okay, I'm going to talk. Hey, uh, welcome back, allthingsdentistry.com, and uh, my son and I are here. We're just sitting outside in the heat, barbecuing. You can hear the neighbor's dog in the background. And I've got the Beniform hooked up, and I actually wanted to, there's two, two tricks I kind of want to show you this afternoon. One is with the saliva ejector, if you um, don't have a dental assistant or uh, they're absent for a few minutes of your time and you're doing some sort of procedure and you need some help, you can use this as a primary suction, hook it to the rubber dam clamp. And the other thing is, is that when I'm doing endodontics and say any of these anterior teeth are really broken down, what I'll use is a 2A clamp to a premolar and then move the rubber dam uh, anteriorly, just that tooth. Uh, I've never had success with that 212 clamp ever in my life. So uh, that's just one uh, little trick there. So with the rubber dam, uh, now with the suction, typically what you can do, yeah, I'll do one in a second. Typically, what you can do is you take the, um, the saliva ejector and you put a piece of copper in there. And I read this out of a book. So what you do is you cut it. We've cut it. You pull that off. Keep pull it. Pull the end off. There we go. Okay, awesome. Now, my son's going to show you how to bend it. Okay, go ahead. So we're going to take a set of hemostats. There you go. And you can bend that, and we're going to hook that around the, um, the rubber dam clamp. There we go. Just about. Awesome. There you go. Okay. Now he's going to hook it up. Okay, can you hook it up? I'm going to hook it on here. There. And that's that. So what you can do now... If you don't have a dental assistant and you still need some um, suction, you can use this and then you can form this as to the way you want it. And hopefully that helps. I've used that a number of times. And you can get the patient to uh, hold it across their chest if they need be. So there's your uh, dental assistant in your pocket. Cheers.